learn now one of the most fundamental sikhs in Lakuti sikhs. And this sikh the Rebbe is Masbi, what is the muhus of Ayid? What is the muhus, the essence of the connection from Ayid and the Ebishter? And what is the muhus of a mitzvah? This sikh is very, very negate to every one of us. It's negate to Kiyu Matei Mitzvah Bechlau. It's negate to Inyan of Miftsoim. It's negate to every single one of us. Abachan has to know the sikh and the tip of his tongue. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Pashas Lech Lecha. If those as Pashas say no hate to the own with the Dibur Hashem La Avram Lech Lecha, me art to home, me ladded to home, the Escholigi Godil. Stolzer the Ramban Zokt as the partially beer of Kolhoinian. This Pasha didn't explain everything in detail. Kimat Tam Shi Emalaka de Borucho, as they have art to home, a Tivo im Hoteva, shall you hoist a come you bo elom. So the Nikud of the Ramban is that usually when Tayyip promises a schar, and that's a regular schar, a very special schar, but Lashon Ramban, you don't find such a schar anywhere else. So the Tayyip explains the reason why you are getting the schar. So the Tater says, if you do kach ve kach, and you're going to, f- the lotion of the Posik, Yisalach lefonai, v'tishma bekeil, you listen what I tell you, and then v'tiva imcha. Uch inyin ateiro kulo, imchu keisai teileichu, imsho me atishva mekeil Hashem ulekecha, you follow what the Ebrister says, and then you'll get this heart. Of Yitzhak Omar, Bavur Avrom Avdi, so every time the Tater promises a certain schar, the Tater explains what is the schar for. What's this very special thing that you did that you, therefore you deserve this schar? Just for leaving Eretz Yisrael. Well, there is no very special taken to it in leaving Eretz Yisrael. So just for that, to get such a special schar, we don't see the connection of the schar and fulfilling the union of Lech Lecham That is the kasha from the Ramban. What is the Nikudah of the Ramban? The Nikudah of the Ramban's answer is, say, we'll say it first, Baal Peh. The Nikudah is, the Eino Chinami. It's not an Inyan from Schar. It's not an Inyan from a reward. The Inyan is that Avraham of Vinhar Atafkit. He had a certain mission. The mission was to be Mefarsim al Kusi is Borich Wa'ilon. In Ur Kastim, it didn't work out. You know the story in Ur Kastim? They, they put him into the oven. So he, went to, he left Ur Kastim, went to Choron. In Choron, also it didn't work out the way it should be. So the Ibishta told him, you know what? Lech lecho, me'yaretzcho, me'yladetcho, umibeisovicho. Which means, go away from Choron, go to Eret Yisroel like the original plan was, and in Eret Yisroel, over there, you will be able to fulfill your mission. Let's see the Lashen inside. What is mevayr dem ta? Me'yeis as the anchi urkazdim hobnem giton rois rabis ale munosei ba'akadish baruchu. So it's not the pshat for the actual leaving Choron, therefore you can get such a schar. The Indian is leave Choron and go to Eretz Yisrael and continue doing what you did till now. Not as if it is given by Urkazdim Shalim Bevazin or Mekalo Lemeisei, but some who Eisei Babei Rebbe Kivshan Hoish. So therefore, he couldn't fulfill. He couldn't do what he was supposed to do. On the fifth to is the Ramban concludes. The Rabban explains why Taked and the Tater specify in detail this whole story because Tater doesn't have an Indian in going into the negative opinions and the negative deus of the Goyim the same way Tater didn't write the Fadish Dol story of Urkastim. So the Mela Tater didn't write exactly what was the problem, what happened in Urkastim, what happened in Choron. It just says in a positive way, go to Eretz Yisroel, over there you'll do what you have to do. And the Mela, when you'll be Mefarsim, or Lakuzi, is Borich Bo'elom, so it'll be Vagadlo. That's the beer of the Ramban on this 
Shaik. Frag the Rebbe is blight of the Gwatik. For what the monte the tail be kitzer al koponim, so ya vrom even the likim it sadik tomim al sagdome to yemer Hashem alavr. So even though we understood why the tailor didn't write what the schar was for, but the shaila is a general question. Who's Avram? What, 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 what did he do special? Why did Bechlal the Ibish talk to him? But Neach we find that before the Ibish spoke to Neach, it says who Neach was. Neach was at Tzadik Tomim, Neach Motzachin. It doesn't say anything about Avram of Yiru. And that's the Rebbe's question. For what did Monte the Tater be kitzer al kuponim? She Avram, Ibu de Likim, Itzadik Tomim, Al Tzadom, it's a Yemen Hashem Alavram. Now, there is a gift by Neachim, as far as Dibur Hashem to Neach is a posse magdim fear, Neach is Sadik, no fear, Neach Motzachin, Beni Hashem. There's no description about Avram of Vino before it says, a Yemen Hashem Alavram. Allah has come with a combo when the gear to Avram was in Medrash Hazal, where the sale by Arucha, when Gedel Malosi, but it cost. Und sein Avede Sashem im Siris Nefesh noch sein, die Knur Kaz dem Bechor. In Medrosh, we find great length, many, many details about Avraham Avinu. But das ist given, die Hagdome Vesibet zu Amiras Hashem Lech Lecha. Und im Kolze, wird in Teirisch und Bixav, Klau mit der Mond wegen dem. There's nothing mentioned about this. In Chumisch. A Philonit, as Avraham is given, is given to all the people of his family. It's not even mentioned that Avraham Avinu was different than his entire family. And so, in Pashas Neach, where Avraham, the man, blazed as one of his family, like part of the, like everyone else. So, but mainly, even if we will learn what the Ramban explains, we will understand why the Tater doesn't write this, that, the Tater does not mean that its schar is for the actual leaving Choron. No, there's a whole, a whole matter here of going to Israel. And that's what the schar is going to be for. But sof kol sof, even before the Yemen Hashem el Avram, the Tater should give some description about Avram of it. That's the question that the Rebbe asks. Steve Beis. The Yishloim are the beer in there. The Ascholi von Am Yisrael is from Avraham Avin. Was er is given der erste Eid. Echod hoyo Avraham. Und bei Avraham in Gufe hat sein Eis geteilkeit von Sha'ar ben Eodom. She be Arzei me ladete yun afilo mi beis oviv. Zich ongeheb mit vayemer Hashem el Avraham lech lecho von zei alomen wo steht mit chilas parshosein. Let's give first Hagdome Baal Peh what the Rebbe is trying to bring out. When the Tater says, Ayyimar Hashem al Avram lech lecho me artzecho, the Tater is not trying to tell us the history from Avram Avinu. In this parsha, the Tater is trying to tell us how Avram Avinu is the Hascholi of Am Yisroel. How Avram Avinu started off the whole Indian from Yid. What makes a Yid different and special? From Lahavdil, someone who is not a Yid. We know that in the world, there's also different Madregis. There's Daimim, there's Tzemeyach, there's Chayim, there's Medaber. There's different levels of Chayis, so different levels of Nivroim. And there's Nivroim who are more edeler and, and higher, and a higher level. When we talk about Nivroim, we know the highest level of a Nivro is Medaber, Sugha Medaber. And what is a Yid? A yid, seemingly, is another level in medaber. There's many different kinds of medabrim. There's poshete people, people who have a low level of seichel, and people who have a higher level of seichel, and there's yid. And the Rebbe explains to us in the Sikha that this is not the mus of a yid. The muhus of a yid is not another or a higher type of a nivro. The muhus of a yid is beirei. The muhus of Ayid is that he's a chilek elikami mal mamish. He has an ishome, which is a chilek elikami mal. And the mela, what makes Ayid different and special from all other nivroim, is not that he's a higher type of a nivro. He's more of an idler type of a nivro. The, what makes Ayid outstanding from everyone else is that he has in him an ishome, which is a chilek elika, which is beirei. In other words, the specialty of Ayid does, is not coming mitzad him, mitzad atzmei, mitzad his mailis. 
What makes Ayit special is mitzad the beide mitzad the eibishter. The main we understand that Ayid is not only a higher type of a nivra; it's a whole different sukk. There's nivroim and there's Ayid. And this inyan is merumis in the fact that the tale starts with Vayemer Hashem el Avro. Vayemer Hashem el Avro means. What's the muhus of Avraham of Vino? Which is the erste yid, the aschol of Am Yisrael. Is vayeimer Hashem el Avraham, mitzad der Eibishter. Ba nivroim, what, how do we measure a nivro, which is higher or lower, is according to the mailis that the nivro has. With what do we measure a yid? He has a nishom. He has a nishom. And the Nishomi is Vayemer Hashem al Avram. The Nishomi comes from the Eibishter. The Eibishter is the one that was Beicher, Bibchira, say that a Yid should be, nif- should be different. And this is not a Keich of Nivroim. And that is not a Keich that a Nivro, a level which a Nivro can reach to Mitzad Atzmei. This is Mitzad the Eibishter's Bechira. Let's see inside. Under Mit was the Teira he told them Sipur. What made Avraham Avinu outstanding? With Vayemer Hashem al Avram. Let's skip now the parentheses. Is the Teir Madgish the Muhus von Avram, the essence von Avram, and not only from Avram, but from every single year? By alle andere Umes is a Kiru Vishaychus from Beirei Elam, verbunden mit Zeir Yediyah Vahakor in Beirei. By, by other nations, by Agoy, who can also have a certain yidi in their Eibishter, it's all mitzah their yidi, their recognition. Was durch them forbidden they zich mit dem Eibishter no zayin lekai mitzvayisif. By Am Yisrael over, bashteid zayir ikir kiruv lo elokos un zayir mitzies als yidin. Nit in dem vos zayin mitzad atzmom der heim zich zu hoben ha'akore in dem beire elom un zu forbidden zich mit dem. It's not the pshat that a yid Mitzad Atzmei, he came to the maskon, he came to the conclusion that you have to connect to the Eibishter. Nor in them was the Eibishter had the eyes getailed. Uveloshin chazal va'achshov kirvonu hamokim la vidosei. The Eibishter made us close. Kirvonu hamokim lei vivdilonu mi haumeis vikirvonu leichude. So where does it all based off from? By a goy, it's based off his mitzis. He came, he elevated himself to a level that he has a recognition in the Eibishter Bechlau, and the male he has to be mekayim, the mitzis of the Eibishter. By a yid, it's not based off his recognition. It's based off the fact that Eibishter was beichir in him. When we bowed at us, he came in mitzad ha-beirei. His movement as the Bnei Yisroel, and not nor, noch asug in der brie. Yid, not another category in Nivroim. Was his given nenter zum eibeshten mer vishar ben yodom? Or was his in ganzen anander muhus? So we'll take the marshal two people. So one person has more of a high level of seichel. So of course he has a deeper hakor in the eibeshter, and he's higher than someone else who's more simple level of seichel, and he has less of a recognition in the eibeshter. But sof kol sof, it's all in the same category. They're both based on seichel. Eloma, he's more, he's higher, and he's lower. When you talk about a yid, so his connection is bechlal not based off seichel; it's based mitzad the eibishter. The eibishter connected a yid to him. So how far is the chiluk of a beire and nivro? It's a chiluk bein arich. It's far apart. Bleak will far apart. By by goyim, no matter how much seichel it will be, it'll all be a connection as far as a nivro can can get, which will be a limited connection. Mashiach and a connection which comes from the Abish, there will be a connection bligvul an un, in an unlimited connection, a connection with sad beir, not with sad nivroi, and that's what the Rebbe says. Weiter, warum alle nivroim zainen und bleiben am mitzias nivro. They are nivroim, and even after they came to, rec- to the recognition in the mitzias of the Abishter, they will still remain a mitzias of a nivro. Mashiach in Eden zainen b'muhusam an inyan von getlichkeit. In der Bria, what is Ayid? Ayid, in essence, is a locus match. And the Rebbe adds on three words. Get lechkeit in der Bria. It's get lechkeit, it's a locus, how it reflects in Bria. Where do we see that? 
The Rebbe explains in the brackets because the Emes is the connection of Ayid to the Beirei. It's not only Mitzad in the it's also Mitzad the Gulf. Like the Alter Rebbe explains in Tanya and Perik Memtes, Ruvon of Acharta Mikol Amveloshein is referring to the Gulf of Ayid, which Dafka on the Gulf, we use the Loshen Bechire, which we use when you have two things which seemingly are equal and still you are Becher only in one because that's what you decided. The same thing is Lomailo, when you say the Ebesh that was Becher and Ayid, to say the Ebesh that is Becher and Aneshom of Ayid, and Aneshom of Achil is a very high Madrege. But a Guf of Ayid, which is Nidme Bechumri, you say the Guf the Guf of Ayid, which seemingly looks the same, like the Guf of everyone else, and Guf of Agoy, and the Ebesh that is Becher, because that's what he decided, not because of the Mailas and the advantages of the Nisham of the Guf of the Yid. The Ebesh was Becher because that's what he decided that he wants the Guf of a Yid. A Guf is an Indian of a Nivro. And here we have the Nishome which comes down the Guf and the Ebesh that is Becher in the Guf that's a Lukus the way it reflects in Bria. That's a Lukus the way it flex, the way it reflects in Ivroim. And this is the Mus of a Yid. Valderech ze is der Chiluk zwischen die Mitzvahs b'nei Neach und die Mitzvahs, welche Eden seien ongesagt geworden. Now that we understood, I mean, the Chiluk of Aid and Agoy in essence, what is the Chiluk of Aid, uh, what makes Aid outstanding from Agoy? That it's Mitzad Beirei, not Mitzad Nivro. So the Rebbe goes a step further and explains that this now we'll understand also the Chiluk in Mitzvahs, between the Mitzvahs of Eden and Mitzvahs and Goyim. Let's say first the Nekud of Aopet. We know that Goyim only has Sheva Mitzvah B'nei Neach, and by Yidin there is Taryak 613 Mitzvahs. Seemingly the Chiluk of the Mitzvahs of Ayid and the Mitzvahs of Agoy is a Chiluk in quantity. That Ayid has more Mitzvahs than Agoy. But the Rebbe is Masbir in many, many sikhs, it's not like that. The Chiluk of the Mitzvahs of Agoy and the Mitzvahs of Ayid is a Chiluk in, chiluk in difference of quality. It's a different type of a Mitzvah. The Mitzvah of Agoy these, these seven mitzvahs b'nei neach are not a matore, not a goal on their, on their own. They're only an emtsoi for something else. Which means we have a certain goal we want to reach. We want the world to be a sheves yitzora, to be a world, a settled world, a normal world to live in. Of course, if going walk around stealing will not be a, a, a mockim yushiv, will not be a settled place. So the male of the Abish that wants that Goyim should not steal, it should be a mockim yushiv, and the male will be helpful for you. So it comes out the one that Abish that tells a Goy lay signal, there's no intention here to connect to the Goy. The, the, the goal is not the mitzvah. The goal is the outcome, what will come out from the mitzvah. So the world will be better. But there's no intention in you. And there's no intention in the mitzvah itself. Masha'in came by Ayid, the mitzvah, this is the goal. When I Abish tells Ayid, lay signaif, don't steal. It's not that we're not looking for the outcome of it. We're not looking to make the world better. We're looking for you. The Abish that wants to connect to Ayid. How does he connect to Ayid? Through the through that the Abish that gives Ayid a mitzvah, and the mitzvah is Ratzon Hashem. Ayid is Mekayim the Ratzon Hashem, and this causes this creates the connection from the Abishter and the Yid. So the Mela we understand that what cre- what what creates the connection from the Abishter and Ayid is Midetzivui Habeire because the Beire, the Abishter gave us this mitzvah and the purpose of this mitzvah is the actual mitzvah connection and a connection which is coming and based off the Abishter, this is what causes the real connection from Yidin and the Abishter. Let's see inside. The mitzvah b'nei neyach is teichnon, the ish of ha'elam. What is the content? What is the purpose of mitzvah b'nei neyach? Not the mitzvah on its own. It's the fact the world should be settled. The zichu ha'odam. As the min ha'medaber zol zayn k'deboi. The velk k'deboi, a proper world and proper people. Un de eiz ge'edel k'ayt on shleimus von velk. How does the world become proper? Ver durch dem was the b'nei neyach zayn emekayim zayn emitzvah. Well, but the are mekayim their mitzvahs, and like the Rebbe explains in the parentheses, that therefore the mitzvahs ben neyach are not in yonim which are lomaylom and aseichel. These are in yonim which even nor, uh, normal logic could understand. So the meila, the world becomes a mokim yushav, a settled place. Mashiach in the mitzvahs from Eden is in yonim, not nor the zichu ha'odom ve'ha'elam, nor vi'iker tzavso ve'chiburim ha'beirei. 
the Nikud is connection with the Ebishter. Und das ist Mohusa von der Mitzvah. Und wie bald hat das ein Ingen von Zavso und Chibor im Habeire, was Nivro und Beire seine Beina rechle Gamri, ist Muvon, as geschehen wie die Mitzvah sein Nivro, ist nicht tiefes Mokim legabe dem Beire, ist ich sein Avede nicht tiefes Mokim legabe. Let's stop here, let's explain this. Shnikula, the Rebbe is telling us, first Baupe. When we talk about two Chavedim, for example, Reuben and Shimon. So Shimon, since Reuben and Shimon have an Erech, have a certain Shaykhis, so when Shimon will do a special thing for Reuven, so B'derech Memeilu, this will be Me'ere Reuven with a feeling towards Shimon. Which means the Aveda of Shimon is Tefes Smokim, it plays a role L'Gabe Reuven. And the reason for that is because Shimon himself is a Metzies L'Gabe Reuven. So because Shimon himself is a Metzies L'Gabe Reuven, so the Mele, the Aveda of Shimon is also Tefes Mokim L'Gabe Reuven, and Reuven will become misaded and can feel connected to Shimon when Shimon will do something special for him. When, Lamed Vorim Amurim, when are we talking about when you have two people who have a Erech, a Shaykh is between them? When you talk about Nivro and Beirei, Nivroim are bottling guns and are not tafe smokim lagabe de abish, lagabe beide. It's it's bleak wool apart. And with the rechmeil the aveda of a nivro, no matter how much aveda a nivro shall do, it, it's it's irrelevant lagabe de abish. So the meila, when you want, we want to connect to the abish. So as much as we're going to do, this will not create any connection. It's 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 beida rech far apart. The only way how we can connect to Beire is mitzah de Beire. Because the Ebishter is Bligvu, so when the Ebishter decides that I want to connect to the Nivro, so the male I give you a mitzvah, and the mitzvah is my rotzen. That's the rotzen of the Ebishter. So the mitzvah is, and I give this mekayim the mitzvah, so this mitzvah, which is the Ebishter's rotzen, connects Ayit to the Ebishter. So the male we understand that the whole Indian, how a mitzvah connects a yitere ebishter, is not mitzah the maile so'odom. It's not mitzah the person reached, he elevated himself to a certain level, and the maile became kavyochal closer to the ebishter, as much as he's going to elevate himself and never, he'll never become close enough to the ebishter. It's mitzah the tzivui habeire. The ebishter said, and I am being mikayim what the ebishter said. Let's see inside. Is move on. As kishen with the mitzis and nivro is not tefe smokim l'gabed dem beire. The actual mitzis of the nivro is irrelevant l'gabed dem beire. L'gabed dem ibishter is ich zayn avidah not tefe smokim l'gabed. On the way with the tzavsovet uvgiton, the way how to create this connection is not through them zichuch va'aliyah from them adam, not through elevating himself. Durch sein Gedeer war er kor in Elokus through his recognition of the Meibishen. Oder welches ist hergisch war weder Neilus von Aben Adam or any Aveda, whatever it shall be. Nur durch dem, was der Eibishter hat Becher gewinnen und angesagt. Das heißt, durch Zivui Hashem Vikiyumei. So the point is, as long as it's something which relates to the person, it's his emotion, it's his feeling, it's his understanding, it's his Aveda. Whatever will relate to a Nivra will not connect him to Beide. The Nikud the, the is Mitzvah. Mitzvah is Tzivui Hashem, the Eibish is Tzivui. If it's the Eibish is Tzivui, the Eibish con, con, connects himself to a Yid. And this is mad gishtere gleich by the Meshim Yid in Avraham Avinu. As an Isgeteltkeit als Yid und seine Meile, Hebt sich an in der Tere Meise Oves, nicht mit seine gewaltige Meiles, in sein Kiruvle Lokus durch Avidosse uve Keach Atzmei, nor mit Vayemer Hashem el Avrom Lechlecho. If the Tere would first start saying, when Avrom of Vinim was a Tzadik Tomim, he was not so he was a very special person, and then he would say, Vayemer Hashem el Avrom, what would that mean? That how what connected Avraham Avinu to the Eibishter? Avraham Avinu was such a baldarge that he brought himself close to the Eibishter. That is not the Nikud of that is not the Musavayit. The Musavayit is the Yemer Hashem al Avraham. What connects a Yit to Beire is not mitzad his mitzis, because the Eibishter said, with this tzivu, no matter what the tzivu is. But with this very etzem command, Vayemer Hashem el Avram, the Abish that is telling Avram, do kach vikach, 
this itself creates the connection. And like we were mentioning before, and we'll say over again in the Kudah, this scene is dafke by the mitzvahs of Ayid. Because dafke by the mitzvahs of Ayid, the, the purpose of the mitzvah is the actual mitzvah, the actual command. This is where the Ebrister puts himself into this mitzvah. Masha'inki, when the Ibrish tells a goy way signaif, so the Indian here is not what the Ibrish is looking to connect to the goy. There is a matter you want to have a good world. So the Ibrish tells the goy do kach ve kach. The lotion of chsidis, it's called chitseini yisarotzen. The kavod is not the actual mitzvah, not the actual connection. It's the myth is only an emtsoi for something else. And therefore, the Ibrish himself does not give him, put himself into this mitzvah. Only a mitzvah, what the Hebrew says, mitzvah ve'ayid. That over here, the purpose of the mitzvah is the actual mitzvah. Do what I told you so we can connect. This is, Indian is only by ayid. And this is the vayemer Hashem al-Avram. Let's invite it in the sikh. Zayn shaykh is udveikus mit n'ebish n'otzich uvgiton al yidei shenitvei zeh shenitztavu me'eis Hashem uner hot mekayim given dem tzivui. In other words, the fact that the Ibrish told him to do it, and he actually did it. Of course, when we say the Moshe and Hayim Yim, of the Chochem Godel and Ish Poshet, where the Chochem Godel and Ish Poshet is very far apart, and through the fact that the Chochem Godel tells the Ish Poshet to do something, and the Ish Poshet actually fulfills the Rotzen of the Big Chochem, this is what causes the connection between them. So, the Avram, the Ibrish told Avram to do Kach ve Kach, and he was Mekayim, what the Ibrish told him, this is, this is what connected Avram of Inu and the Ibrish. So, at Khan, we spoke about. Avraham Ovinu, we spoke about Tashis Lech Lecha. we understood why the Teireh did not say any description about Avraham Ovinu before Vayim and Hashem Avram to tell us what is the Yisait, what is the foundation of Ayid, and now the Rebbe will take this, this beer and bring it down in Maisa Be Peyel in Aveda, in our Aveda, like we mentioned before, this is a very, very fundamental city, which is Negea Sait Remus of Ayid, Negea Tafotza Samayonis, Negea Tamiftsoyim, and Negea Tawr Kirim Ateiro Mitzvah Bechai Yim Yim. Let's see inside. Teireh is Miloshin Heroe. The midver gemeint alu in yoni teire. As yet it inyan in teire is negeya nit blaze al tseiroe. Belimut v'idiya soodom. Lor ze zainen ha yeroe for alu yid. Un yet it in bechol adeiris in der anhoge bepeil mash. The frat in negeya de ove is ibalt as maisi ove simen lebonim. With the rabban is mevair ba'arucho. As the time was the teire is meirich in tsipor amasoi zushar hamikrim. From the ove is... Is bechdei der fun zu a reis lernen und wissen wie es darf sein die anhoge von die bon. In other words, as we have this many time emphasized in the Rebbe Sikhs, Maisiyov is similar bonim is not only that the Teira told us about the Maisiyov so we know what's going to happen. It's a seder aveda. We, how do we learn the way we should be neig? We learn this from the Ovis. Al pisa is moving the nidden didan. With them was the Teira that sailed. As the Iker Tzavso Vechibur von Avro mit den Ebeschen, Hebzechon mit den Tzivu Yashem Lechlocha. So we begin with the Tzivu of Lechlocha. Is das nit nor le shen yidie wegen dem Hus von Ayid. It's not only so now we know what Ayid is. Und der Ingen ham mitzvahs by Yidin. Nor das is a hero be peyo und dem yeseid va haschole von dem Yidin skiru to dem Ebeschen. It's negeya be peyo how Ayid is supposed to be mekar of himself to the Ebeschen. And the Rebbe explains like this. As can sein, al kosal kedaitech. As kedei a idzel onei mekayim zayn mitzvus. When is karev veren zum eibishen, a person can think that in order to become closer to the eibishter, that for lechol reish learn vegen yiddishkeit, vegen di haloches zum mitzvus atere, or befrat learn vegen dem eibishen. The shaykh is zaynet so well bechlal and even befrat understand how the Ebrish is connected to the world and connected to Yidin. Wissen them taken her inyan for mitzvahs bechlal and for yadin mitzvah protest understand what every mitzvah is about. The says me can meinen as either mitz me kaya mitzvahs darf men hoben the richtige achdome va achshore be idia so inyanim leburion. First, we really have to prepare ourselves understand what is going on, what is the taken, what is the content of what we're doing. As noch dem kemen onei mekayim zay mitzvah Hashem, vi es darf zu sein. Vi es is masim veroi ba kiyem mitzvah Hashem. 
So let's first go, go just through Baal Pe. So when it comes to do a mitzvah, the question is, what is the ikir? Of course, we know that a mitzvah has to be done with Avad the Yire. It says, it brings in Tanya from Zayar, Chibraisa, with Chilur Chimuli, Parchila Elo, Avad the Yire are the wings of Tayro mitzvahs. Of course, every mitzvah that Rebbe Zantanya paid in Dalad, that the Shadish of Mitzvah Esso, Mitzvah Slaza says, Avad Hashem and Yire Hashem. The question is, what is the ikir? Is the ikir is the Maisa ha mitzvah, or the ikir is the regesha or the mind feeling? A person can say like this if you're doing a mitzvah, you have no idea what the Eibishter is, what the Eibishter means to me, what the mitzvah means to me. So you're basically doing a very dry pu'ula, which has no meaning to it. So what is the tiyelos? What is the purpose? This is benegiyah la'atzmei. Now there is benegiyah somebody else. When it comes to be mikarev ayid, you can, you know, let's, let's talk about mifzoyim. It comes to do mifzoyim. So merely have a yid that's already mekurev and he wants to learn and he read a few svarim and he comes to shiurim and he knows what it's all about. So we understand what is the fine. So he's teaching him also to do mitzvahs, to practice what he's doing. But you're coming to a yid in the street that you never met before, you'll maybe never meet after. And he's putting on film one time. What is the te'eles of this putting on film? This is l'chore, a very, very dry pu'ola which has no teichim and no, it's meaningless, no meaning to it. What is the ingot? Let's sharpen this with a maimer azal, with a, a gemore that's brought down in gemore masich <coughs> the The halachi is that if you go to a yid, a yid that does not want to eat matzah, and goyim went to this yid, and by force they opened up his mouth, and they forced him to they, they put the mat, stuff the matzah down his throat. As he's stuffing the matzah down his throat, he made a broche. Baruch ato Hashem alikeinu melech eilam asher kedishonu b'mitzvei sovetzivonu ala chilas matzah. Was it a broche of atola? Not. It was a good broche, and he did the mitzvah of matzah. On the other hand, you have a yid that's in Sibir in a lag in a, in a camp, and he cannot eat matzah, and he's sitting Pesach at night. And he's crying with tears that he can't eat matzah. And he's sitting a whole night and, and thinking through the maimer of Sheshis Yomim, thinking through a maimer that talks about Achilles matzah. And he's sitting for hours and crying and about the matzah that he can't eat. And he, he felt such a, he, he got so emotional that he made a baruch and baruch ato Hashem, Hashem Kedishon, and Mitzvah, so Sivono, Al Achilles matzah. This was a baruch of a tole that did not fulfill the mitzvah of Achilles matzah. How do we understand this? This person is molly regish, full with feeling. He understands what matzah means. He wants to fulfill what the Ebrister tells him. He feels what Ebrister is his baller boss. And he, and he understands the taking of the matzah. He didn't do the mitzvah. And this person, by force, uh, shagets, f- threw matzah into his mouth. And he was mekayim a mitzvah, vichilas matzah. And this is the Nukudah the Rebbe explains in this seif. Where does it all begin from? If it all begins off your regesh, if the purpose is that I should, it's all, it's all based upon my madrege, what I feel and where I'm up to and how, how, I, how elevated I became, then you're right. What does a dry mitzvah mean? It didn't do anything to the person. It didn't change anything in the person. But if we understand the other, the sort of a connection between a yid and a goy, the, of, of, I'm sorry, the, the, the difference of Ayid and Agoy and the sort of the connection between Ayid and the Eibishter is not based upon his mitzvah. It doesn't begin with him. It begins with Sivu Hashem. So now we'll take these two Yid. This Yid is sitting in a camp and he has, he got so emotional and he's crying for hours the fact that he can't eat matzah. Whose regish is it? Whose emotion is it? It's his emotion. It's the regish of Anivro. This Yid was forced to eat matzah. He had no regish, but he ate matzah. He did a tzivui. Whose tzivui did he do? The Eibishter tzivui. Tzivui habeirei. That is the difference. So why are you going to talk about who's higher, who's lower? Mitzad the gedorim of new definitions of nivro. Of course, he has regish. He does not. He's, he's up to something. He's not up to anything. But when we talk about connection to the Beirei, which is based upon the Beirei, he did a tzivui of the Beirei, and he did not. And that's why he makes a brach, and he cannot make the brach. And if he did, it's a brach of a So the male, when we come to Ayid, and we tell him, listen, 
do a mitzvah. And he asks, I, I, have my, I don't feel, I have no feeling for putting on tefillin. Don't have feeling. No one asked you to have feeling. But when you're doing the mitzvah, you're connecting yourself to the Ebishter. A lot more and deeper than you would if you would just have a feeling to put on tefillin. And therefore, what is the nekudah that you saw this dafke, the maisa mitzvah? This creates the main connection in the Eibishter. Of course, you also need Abbas Hashem, you need Yiras Hashem, you also need Regesh, and has to also come out Begilu, that's a separate sugi in Chesidus. That is not in the Kuda of this Sikhe. But this Sikhe is, is discusses what is the Muhus, what is the essence of the connection, and that is with Kabbalah Seil. That is with Sibu Hashem. Let's see inside. You meet someone who didn't have any connection to Yiddishkeit till now. Not only didn't have any connection to the actual fulfillment of mitzvahs. But he has no idea about Yiddishkeit. He has no idea about Yiddishkeit. The only thing he knows is that he's a Yid. All he knows is that he's a Yid. So we can think. First, we have to prepare him, get him ready. And learning, yonim, welche welen, sof, sof, lachris, man, and geben a idea, veg dem ebisch, non tailor, mirti, should have more of a knowledge. Bees are ved bakum, and I give feel in tailor, but still he gets an emotion, a regish. And dem old vetter, mekayim, zain tailor, mirti, is the aida of mekayim, zain. He should first be up to something. Of course, we don't mean that we should not do mitzvahs until we have a feeling. That's not what we mean. We, we know where it is in Tehra, Nasa, Benishma, first comes the Nasa. But that is not, that is not the Iker. As Dav Zayn Akdom is Nasa, Benishma, we can't refrain ourselves from being Mekayim, Tehra, Mitzvah, until we understand. And of course, we don't mean that we'll refrain ourselves or others from doing Tehru Mitzvahs before we have a feeling. This is not the real way. He can't wait until he gets there because who knows how long it can take. But you're doing now is only like a simon, only like a zeicher. That is not the main main purpose, the main way of doing a mitzvah. We have no, no idea who he is. No description of Avram. And there is so that the school is Kiruva is the name of Hashem El Avram Lechlecho. So tall, is firm the pale to Hashem. This is the point. I told you, and you do it. No matter who you are and what you're up to and what you're not up to. Who not know is that the first thing that he is man. It's not only when we want to know how do we build up the stages in in Afotas Amayonis, in Afotas How what's what what's number one? What's number two? So we say, listen, number one, do the mitzvah de pay, and then we'll talk about the regish. It's not only in zman; it's also in Ave- it's also when you talk about avedas Hashem, and we want to know where is the main focus of avedas Hashem. Is dafke tzivu yabeire kabola seil. Varum it was better eaten is chaber than is achim with neighbishen. Durch tonu folgen tzivu yabeire. Das heißt, der yisodo avede von a eaten is a muno ve kabola seil pshuta. Ton un uis folgen to fulfill tzivu yashem be peil. That's the nukud. Okay, so it's not the taich. Now it's only a, a mitzvah, it's like a sug base, a grade B mitzvah. Later I'll understand, then the mitzvah will mean something. Now the mitzvah means, and means with, with, the, with, the, with the, the fullest extent. Because you're doing now the tzivah yabere, even if you have no regesh in the Indian. See if, hey. Shame with us is by eating bechlau, azeiz, us benegea, yeder eid, avidasi apratis. Shasa Yid, a shamer tero mitzvus, hot a yidia in niglo de tero, un a pimimis a tero, un hot a core in beire elon bisu ave de yir. Let's give a little bit under introduction. In Sif Dalad, we're talking about there's different types of yidin. Some yidin have a regesh, some yidin do not. Even by ourselves, some 
It takes time till we develop a regish. So what should we start from? What should we put the main focus on? How should we work our way up? So the Rebbe says, the Ikir is the Kabbalah sin. Fine. But now I already worked my, my, my way up. And I already have the regish. I already have, I already have everything. What's not? So the Rebbe says, even after, you already have the idea, you already have the Hakkara, and now I'm doing a mitzvah. Being, in the same time being that you have the Yediyah the Hakkara, in the same time being you have to know that the Iker is to do the mitzvah because the Tzivon or because the Eibish that is said. Let's see it side. Is b'shas and how by mekayim and a mitzvah for the meibush. That for this you have to know. As the reishis so aveda, the ikra, the shorsho is to the heren as regit mekayim and tzivu yashem. Or the nusach birtas kol a mitzvah as she kedishono be mitzvah so be tzivon. Or be even as ilu nitztave lachtiv eitzim, even if the eibush will tell you to chop wood, which is a famous lashon in the kotetere, which. Brings out the point that certain things the Hebrew tells us, which we have no idea what is the content, what is the taken, what is the purpose of all this. Both it is geton mit and zelden misiris nefesh. The herendik as ein shaykes from Hebrew and bashteit eats in ton amitzel de peil. Because if the focus is on the regesh, so something which I have no regesh in, of course, will be done with less chayis. But if you understand that even Bishas, you have a idea of a core, is still the Yisod of the Mitzvah's Kabbalah sale. So no matter what we're talking about, even Lachtev Eitzim will be done with the same Chayis. Andri Iluim in Zayin Aveide, in Zayin Aveide, Zayin Alt Snor in the Gdorim Funivro. This is the punchline of the Sikha, these three words, these three lines. All the miles where you can get to, is all Gdorim of Nivro. You'll never be able to pick yourself out, take yourself out from the backs of a Nivro, no matter how high you're going to be. So the male, as much as Aleph Ida you have, you're connected only within the limits of a Nivro. For them, Ibersh, it's the Ibersh that's Tzivui, so Verta Eid Nichlau Be'ir Havayo, Ritzenei, Umeyuchad Be'i Bichud Gomor, which is a quote from the Alta Rebbe in Tanya. Which says that Tafke for Tzibu Yashem, the Altarebbe explains in Tanya Perik Lamed, hey, that Atzad, even Atzad Gomur, can have Iri Va'avi Betanugim. By the end of the day, it's all he is a Yore and he is a Eyev. He has Avi and he has Iri. It's his feeling. It's all related to him, to his Mitzis. Mashaykem, you do Atzivu, and Melo, you're missing out on the Ichud Gomur with the Eibishter. Dafke Atzivu, which is the Amitzvah, which this relates to the Eibishter. This is a connection which is built from the Eibishter. This connects Ayit to the Eibishter, the Ichud Gomur. So till here in the Sikh, we understood why in Pashas Lechelcho we start the first post of Yim Rashem El Avram Lechelcho Meyartzcho, and we are not giving any description, any previous description about Avram Avinu. Now that it goes a step further and explains, but why is connected Dafka to this Tzivui? So this can be by any Tzivui. There is a reason why the first Tzivui was Dafka this Tzivui of Lechelcho Meyartzcho. So the Rebbe explains that you know many many Sikhs. Now, what is the teichen at tzivui of lechel chom miad tzchom milad tzchom beisavicha? Means not only physically go out from your land, go away from Choron, and go to Eretz Yisrael. It means also in Avedas Hashem, go out from your rotzen miad tzcho, go out ni milad tzcho, which refers to your midas, which this is the, the the feelings of a person which a person is born with, and mi beisavicha from your seichel, from your mechin. Mechin is called av beisavicha. Now, what does it mean go away from your rotsen and your seichel and your midas? Are we referring to go away from rotsen, seichel, or midas, which are from Neva Shabamis? The Rebbe says no. When we say me aretzcho, me miladetcho, me savicho, the Rebbe emphasizes many, many times. Go away even from your rotsen from Kedusha. And from your seichel of Kedusha. Which means even if a person has a recognition in God of and based upon that he connects to the Eibishter, he's all connected to his Metzies. Even if he has a rotzen, I want, I have a drive, but it's your drive. So it's a rotzen digdusha, soft because of it's your metzies. Lech l'chom yaretzcho, your yisod of Abedus Hashem is not because you understand, not because you feel, not because you have a drive, not even rotzen. Because the Eibishter said, Eloretz Hashem, ar echo, that's Kabbalah say. Let's see inside. Abizeh yumtak was the Indian. 
Es gesagt worden in dem Ebischen Sonntag, Lech Lecha Mei Arz Chom Mei Lade Chom Mei Savich, und wann der Ebischte Chus, dies Mitzvah, to be the first Mitzvah. Das ist der Teichen auch Ingen von Lech Lecha Mei Arz Chom Mei Lade Chom Mei Savich. We obgeteich bekam und bekam es Lech Lecha Mei Arz Chom Gea, we go away from deine Rezenis. Er hat mit Rotz. Means from deine Gewöhnheiten, from the things you are used to, from your nature, from this. The base of Vicha is from deine Mechin, which is the Inn of Chochme. Was Chosh, as by Eden, was is Kedeboi, a Yid, that's the way it should be, saying, the Aller, it's saying, is the Kirche, is a Reingeton in Kedusha Velokus. Von den Zwegen is der Weg zu vereinzigen sich mit den Ebischen Dafke durch dem, was er geht, a Ruiz von seinem Zies. Ich von seinem Zies mit Zad Kedusha. Und wo darf sein der Tachlus von Lech Lecho? Ha Oretz Asher Areko. Der Ebischte hat gewesen. I showed you. And that's what you're going to do. Now we'll go back to the Kasha from the Ramban. Let's first summarize just in a, in a minute. It was basically, it was two Shilas in the beginning of the Sikha. One Shilas in the beginning of the Sikha was the Ramban's Kasha. Why does not say in the Tere the reward, what's the reward going to be for? Usually when Tate gives a reward, such a, special, such a special reward, it says you're going to do something special. What's, just for going out from Eretz Yisrael, you get such a reward. And then we had the second challenge, why is no description about Avraham Avinu before the Abraham spoke to him? So till in the Sikha, the main focus was on the second question, why is there no description about Avraham Avinu? And the Nikud of the answer is because the Ibish did not talk to Avraham Avinu because of his description and because of his mindless. The Ibish spoke to Avraham Avinu because he was the Becher, the Ibish that chose Mitzah the Beirit to connect Avraham Avinu. But now the Ibish goes back to, the, the Rebbe goes back to the beginning of the Sikha to explain the Kasha of the Ramban and how now we, the, we understand <coughs> we have the explanation and the answer to the Ramban's Kasha as well. What was the Kasha from the Ramban? We'll say it first, Baal Pet. The Kasha of the Ramban was we're getting schar for what? Just for going out on Merit Yisrael? What's special about it? The Rebbe says, this is special. The very fact that you are doing what the Ebrister said, the Mikayim at Sivu Yashem, this is, the, this is the very special thing. If we would look on Tzivuyim, as if, like we said before, like Shem Amit has been in Neyach, it's only an Emtsoi to get somewhere else, what are we gaining with Lech Lecha what's the, what's the, you know, going out from Choron? So the Rabban explains, yeah, I'll go from Choron, I'll go there to Yisrael, it'll be Mefar Semel But if the way we understood before, what is the definition of a mitzvah? The very Tzivuy, the very connection. The Abish that told Avraham Avinu, do something. And he did it. And why did he do it? Because the Ebrister said, this is the way you get a scarf. Let's see inside. What is it? I'm going to get the cash from the Ramban. What's for an art to make a tear? Is it a zaschar? Blaze for a kiyum to see what Yashem? So the Rebbe says, Val dur dem kiyum, ver der emeser inye fu mitzvis. Der etzem kiyum to see what Yashem is der tachlis. Und bring dem shleimus a scarf. I want to say it over again to we should have it clear. The Rebbe says it's very bikitzri, but we have this is a very fundamental part of the sikha. When we look at a mitzvah, that it's only an emtsoy, you want to reach some, you want to have a better world, you want to have more elevated people, better people, then we have to, the mitzvah has to have a certain taken to it. Then we in every mitzvah ask, what is the taken of the mitzvah? What is the mitzvah giving me? What's the, what am I accomplishing from the mitzvah? But now that we understood that the point of the mitzvah is not the accomplishment of the mitzvah. It's the very mitzvah. So the mail we understand that taken is a mitzvah lech al And Avraham Avinu will do it. And why will he do it? Not because his irrigation, because the Hebrews said. When you do something because the Ebrishter said, and you connect it to the Ebrishter, the Ebrishter is Bully Gvul. So how much schar are you getting? Bully Gvul schar. On the contrary, if you're connecting to the Ebrishter because you're very special, after all your specialty, your soft call, soft limited, so the schar will also be a limited schar. But now that we understand that Lech Lechom Yaretzucha means that you'll do the mitzvah because I said, how much schar do you get? Bully Gvul schar. Because you connected to Beiri, the Beiri is Bully Gvul. 
And the Rebbe goes on further on in Siv Zayin and explains how in every part of the Schar, the Es Cholagi Godil, the Avorechecho, the Agad Lo Shmecho is emphasized how we see the Kecho in Tzof. The Es Cholagi Godil, the Avorechecho, the Agad Lo Shmecho. The Gay Godil is the meaning of Godless. God, real Godless is only the Kech Abeire. And the meaning of Avorechecho <coughs> the union of broche, the keich to give broches is also only by the Abish the bekeich habeire. So the male we understand how daske through connecting to beire came a schar, not stam a schar, but such a special schar of the escholgi godil vavarech of a god lashmecha. So to say, over to repeat again what we said in the beginning when we started learning the Sikha, the Sikha is one of the most fundamental Sikhas of Lakuti Sikha. It's a Sikha that every single Bokhir has to have on the tip of his tongue 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In the Limud of Lakuti Sikha, so Chelek Chofhei Bifrat, and Lakuti Sikha is Bechlal.